So where to? Let's stop blaming the HMOs because you can't see a doctor. Don't Drive to Bertram. Okay then, here we go. Coverage. Bottom line, don't blame me because you're a loser. Not my fault, buddy. And the last thing we need on if you're is sure. socialized medicine. Jeez. Can you imagine the chaos if everyone was able to see? Well, don't stop us though. You shame something. Yeah. How's it feel to slum it, bro? You're driving around two low rate pushers. That's some fine wood slut. It's time to get paid. Let's go. Oh, yeah. You're gonna tell me what the order of the day is? Same old, Del. We're ripping people off. Hoping to walk away from this one with something some cats got for sale and the cash someone was hoping to spend on it. So we make it two sets of it. Sounds like the rest of my life. Shit, why wouldn't I be cool? Fair enough. And you always go crazy.
Look, yo, on the road. Wasn't a total disaster, I guess. Great rolling with you ladies. Later.
Mind the bounce. We got what we came for. Finally, bro. We're gonna get paid. Until next time, bros. Down on me. con talento para imitar por eso se define quiénes son los líderes y quiénes son los seguidores
Hi, welcome to Higgins Tour. I'm Vicky. I'm your pilot. Don't worry about the name. There is no joke I haven't heard. Disappointing arty liberal kids with their ideas about how there's no God. You learn something new every day. refusing to help themselves. Fascinating. I've seen land laid to waste by war, and I'm here to tell you, sometimes it's the only option. Carpet bomb those leeches. Really? Coming up to Vespucci University, you can spot the library where they get their long hair stuck in their fancy books. Yeah? of which most of you folks will never see again. Well then.
development, where Yusuf Amir is building more apartments for his foreign buddies to live in tax-free. Amazing. Honestly. Kiki. The cops do give me a hard time for no reason. I'll talk to you soon. Not <laughs> sure. Don't try anything you might regret. No! Be careful! You ready for the windmill?
something genetic inside you wants to kill things and then mate with them. Hi, I'm Jeremy St. Ives. Maybe you know it's me from the men's room. It's Baz and Jeremy. I'm gonna show all you men out there a common, more loving path. At Male Aromatherapy Incorporated, we have the sense that will help men relax and travel to their childhood. Inhale deep and revisit that first summer romance under the bleachers with a cheerleader. Or in a tent Bad with your scout mask. Mix and match scents such as chamomile shower.
stamina to make an impression that lasts. Wow, that was incredible. Nice bike, Rasta. All right, Nika. You mind me ask you a serious question? No, Jacob, go for it. What made you come out of your own country? What ruined it for you? War ruined my country, Jacob. One village fought another. Friends. You had to fight friends. Then the West takes notice, and you are watching your neighbor's house blowing up on the international news channel. Rotted, Nico. What do you ask? I look up at and think, what could be turning him into the man he's becoming? He's being ruined, you know, Nico. He ain't the dread he used to be. He used to be a righteous man. No my bad seed. It's that coke that he's doing, you know. Batman is putting coke in his spliffs? Nah, man. Be selling it and making him gramalicious. The whole jam don't getting greedy over this coke money. To turn dread against dread. The rest will be fighting one another when they should be catching and smoking in the herb together. Batman included. We should be fighting Babylon. But instead, we are fighting one another. I wish my country had an excuse. As good as cocaine for their fighting, sadly, is not the case. Another day! Another All right, Rasta, let's see what kind of craziness they're up tonight. Watch it, stupid. You tired of living, yeah. little boy? I've seen this kid before. Наполнили рюмки водкой. Here comes Miss Bluesy Saint John. Ah, welcome. Yeah, you ready for some modern blues? How about a little jazz? I love jazz. It's like four guys all playing a different song, and you're right in the middle, feeling slightly confused, awkward, and violated. You ready? How you all doing tonight? Yeah, yeah, me, I'm doing great, just great. That's because, like most Americans, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Medicaid. Oh, yes, I'm Medicaid, yeah. Well, I used to do the hard shit, but now it's a prescription, baby. A prescription. It takes my worries away. It's utopia. I feel lethargic and I don't care. Because I don't feel no pain thanks to my pills. I feel fine, fine, fine. I just can't operate heavy machinery. No way. I can't get me a job on the railroads. That's why I got the blues. Well, I went down to Mississippi. Yeah, Mississippi. You been there? Number one in the blues, but 50th in education. But my pill is orange, and the pharmacy ran out, and my anxiety came back. You know when your heart gets turned inside out, and you feel like you're gonna die? Imagine that on a chemical level. Well, I'm a soccer mom with bad nerves, and my kid is gonna fail, and my garden ain't pretty enough. So I went to the shop and got me a gun and shot this other soccer mom in the head for laughing at my SUV, saying it was an old model. Man, it felt so bad. Well, that's the blues. That's the blues, yeah. Suburban homicide. You feeling me, ladies and gentlemen? Well, then my husband told me he never loved me. But I upped the dose and now I feel great. Yeah, that's right. I medicate, I medicate. Thank you, you all. You've all been great. Liberty City, best audience in the world. I love you. Thank you. Miss Bluesy Saint John. No touching self in the audience, please. Now, welcome to Perestroika stage. Incredible Kleinman. Guns, ladies and gentlemen, are the backbone of our democracy. They are what make us American. They are our best friends and our worst enemies. Shit! But tonight, I will be their master. 
My whorish assistant, the lovely Laurel, will take her revenge on me. She will take this pistol and fire it at me, and I will catch the bullet with my teeth. Impossible? Yes, but it can be done. Laurel, ready the pistol. Show the audience it is loaded. Chip! Kids, do not try this at home. Laurel, back up a few feet. Take aim. And... Be more careful or you'll regret it. What's up with this guy? This is 1214 responding to a call.
a friend of mine drives a bike as well, Nico. Let's go. I like the new top, Nico. How much did it cost? I am glad to see you didn't try to save no money on those new pants of yours. I'm digging the new shoes, Nico. Your face looks so much more handsome without those glasses, Nico. It's okay. You can look. Look at what? Don't think I haven't noticed. You can look all you like, honey. Is this some joke? What am I meant to be looking at? My tits, honey. I didn't pay this much for them if I didn't want men to look. You like what you see? Yeah, sure. What made you want to get fake tits? Fake is the best kind. They firm, they round, they beautiful, don't you think? Sure. I heard they weren't that good if you wanted to breastfeed the baby, though. I don't want no baby pulling on my puppies. I just want them looking perfect. They're designer, just like the clothes I wear.
Why don't you and me go do something? So you're still on the scene, are you? Okay, Miko. We can go on a date. Come pick me up in the next hour. I'll be there in a bit. Mysterious European. Let's go. You really do like cheap cars, don't you, Nico? Those shoes are nice. I might get some for Daddy. Have you been reading my blog? It was really funny this week. Yes, uh, it was hysterical. <laughs> I know, but it was also true. And that's what this guy told me that I was dating last night? He told me what was so amazing about my writing was that it was funny and tender and heartbreakingly original all at the same time. Clever guy. Yes, he's amazing. But don't worry, not all the guys I date have to be intellectuals. Gee, thanks. I like variety. Anyway, did I tell you? I'm making a movie. No, well done. What's it about? <laughs> I don't know. I haven't written it yet. But this other guy I was dating told me that he'd invest and that I should and that I have a lot of talent and I think he's right. I'm sure he is. Yes. I always knew I'd be a filmmaker. I have a very strong visual sense. Yes. It's going to be amazing. Hey, it's, me. it's going to be the great American novel, only a movie. Sounds easy. Fuck easy. I'm an artist. Gotta be hungry to eat in a place like this. It hasn't even got a Liberty Tree rosette.
bland, unmemorable, bad service. I'd give that place three out of ten. Let me into your place. I don't bite. I'd like that, Nico. We'll have fun. Love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. You've caught me in the right mood. Oh, I love being naughty. Do your worst to me, Nico. I haven't seen before. It's ridiculous. Look at what I became. No need to explain to me. I am a long way from a virtuous man. But at that time, 15 years ago or more now, shit was crazy. I knew it was wrong. But I felt like I didn't have a choice. I had no education. I had nothing. Nothing to eat, nowhere to live. Suddenly I was clearing 50 Gs a week. I looked after people. I looked after myself. Shit felt wrong, but it let me do good. I don't know. I can't decide if all the people whose lives was ruined by crack were my fault, or if I was just taking money any fool would have taken. I don't guess it matters too much now. Man, we gonna get our drink on in this, mother. I love this shit. Fucking good time, man, for real. Thanks. Drunk as shit. Yes. Drunk, 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 drunk. Sure. I was so fucking drunk, man. Really? I ain't shitting What's you, up, man. Girl? I ain't a shitter. 
I ain't a fucking shitter. I'm a drinker. Oh, man. I think I'm gonna be sick. Cool. Keep quiet for a while, then. Oh, my gosh! Oh! Where you going, man? Take me to this beauty circus. Jill Van Krasenberg with them please? booty cutters? I'd do something special with that. You got it. Chilling with you. We should do this again. Hit me up soon, son. Forgive me, my friend.
Get out of the car, man. Ah, help! Pay bills, pay taxes, buy that thing you always crave, but isn't in your budget, so you'll be paying it off for years. Lisa, it's time to start paying. Children are our future. Good to see you. You too. How are you, Mr. Gravelli? Good, good. I was just speaking to our mutual friend about you. He said how efficient you were. I like that. Then he mentioned something about a Darko Brevich. What? He did? Yeah. He's located the guy. It seems he wasn't in Switzerland at all, but in Bucharest. He'll be here soon. Good, good. And it seems your Russian friends are getting the message. Some of them. Oh, okay, so... I think it's our turn to do a favor for that mutual friend of ours. Seems some Korean has come into the country and... and is selling money at a discount. You don't need me to tell you that it's all fugazi. Faker than a pair of vinewood tits. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Listen, I need you to deal with this. Eliminate the guy. What he's doing is no good for the economy and no good for patriots like you and me. <laughs> so who is he? His name is Kim Young Guk. He'll be very well protected. He eats at Mr. Fook. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> Mr. Gravelli, are you all right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm fine. Wait, 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 wait. What was I saying? Kim Young-gook, he eats at... Yeah, right. 
Right, right. He, he eats at a restaurant called Mr. Fuchs Rice Box. <coughs> yeah, in Alderney City. <coughs> Don't worry. I'll take care of it. Some other time, okay? Where is Kim? He's upstairs, speaking with the manager. They don't want to see nobody, though. Kim and I are old friends. Kim got a lot of money. He don't need no friends. Get lost!
Is Kim. Kim's not. If you play stupid, you're not going to live very long. Where's Kim? Uh, he heard you come. He ran out back through the kitchen.
sharp, you little brat. Let Gary speak. Gary's the star of his family. That's why he's living in America. And that's why he's in the world. That's why he's in the world.
Fuck off, fuck off, oh, fuck! Ah! Get the hell away from me! Sorry, Brucey, I can't roll with you in the powerboat right now. Another time? All right, Nico. I'll hang with someone else. Call me soon.
not in the mood for this. be living with me in the desert. Listen, you need a leaf. Look, I am a leaf. That's the way it is, and that's the way it's always been, okay? Okay, freeze. Now, you that's what you're doing. Oh, Красиво. I'm sorry, okay? 
It's all about problems and solutions. Ah, yeah. Nico! Of course, you guys already know each other. Nico, good to see you. Interesting friendships you both keep. Yeah, very interesting. The mayor will be here in a minute, and I have two senators dropping by later. Everyone wants to pay homage to a dying legend. Everyone wants the glamour of a bygone age. Everyone. Now that you hear what I said. Yeah, I heard what you said. Nico, our friend here, is telling me that the Ancelotti's are in league with the Russians. Ancelotti's? I know these guys 73 years. In 1972, I should have killed his uncle, but I spared him. And this is how he repays me? Unbelievable! And now he's dealing drugs with Ivan the goddamn terrible! <laughs> so what we're saying is, this is a matter of security, national. Normally, I don't care about cocaine. Keeps controllable people in power, but this is no good. All right, what's my role in this? The distribution network is a fleet of vans parked at a grocery warehouse in Alderney City. The product is packed into the frames of the vans, ready to be moved all over the country. Destroy everything, whatever it takes. And for me? For you. I've got a real gift for you. Get this done, then we'll talk.
with me! They call this your fuck. Shooting up the cock, man! Make sure we don't lose the product! Shit! He's trying to destroy the stuff! We don't want to lose the cocaine!
I have put your competitors out of business. You've given a dying man a few minutes of happiness, Nico. I'm pleased to be helping you out with this thing you need. We'll speak again when Darko Brevich is in the country. I'm in the mood to do some racing. Is there one going on? Fucking champion like you can race as much as he wants! I know about one! The race is through South Alderney! Yeah! Push it to the limit and take it to the top!
I got you. Go straight in. Hey, Tommy, check this out. Seven holes, seven hey. Joe Phil. What? Hey, pal. What's going on? Not too much. How are you? I'm good. Want to walk and talk? Sure. Tommy, give me a call. My big buddy call. Tell him I went out. Get some fresh air. No problem. Ridiculous. I'm a grown man walking around like a chump. I'm sorry about this. Hey, no problem. So you're a friend of Ray's? <laughs> a friend? No, oh, I do some work for him. No, I mean a friend. I don't understand. Whatever you say, he's a slime ball, but uh, he pays. <laughs> sure, pal, sure. Listen to me. The thing about Ray is, he's a good earner. He talks a lot of shit, but he's a good earner. I mean, he's a rat doing an impression of a man. <laughs> That's pretty good. Phil! Phil! What? What? What do you want? <coughs> Mr. Boss, said you gotta head down to docks. Emergency. Said you'd understand. Ah, oh, shit. It's three days early. Man on the meal. What am I gonna do? What's the problem? Nico. I'm gonna have to take a chance with you, pal. Okay? Come on, let's go. Okay, listen, there's a truck waiting for us. It's under the overpass off Catskill Avenue. Drive us there. You scan this thing for bucks? No, but we can be pretty sure it's clean. Chill out. All right, all right. It's just that if we get caught on this one, you and me is going down for a long time. And that means that certain people is going to sue for whack, which means we'll get whacked. You're working with the wrong people if you expect them to whack you if you go inside. Where's the trust, Phil? It's about survival. If someone who knew what I knew got flipped, then the whole organization pulled down. Whacking someone who catches some heavy time is just an insurance policy. And it don't help that not everyone in the organization is pulling in the same direction. You mean that someone in the family would see someone else going inside as an opportunity to get ahead? You're a smart guy. Anyways, excuse me if I want to be absolutely sure that we got our asses covered. You're excused. What are we doing? We're taking a load of product off of some Russians the enchiladas have been dealing with. You was helping those Irish idiots cause some beef between the enchiladas and their Albanian muscle a while back. Since that little love affair ended, they've been getting this Russian guy to supply them with sea. We just got the heads up that a shipment has arrived in Liberty City by boat. That's what the talk about the docks was. Exactly. We're taking the sea off the Russians so they can't deliver it to the enchiladas. Sounds straightforward. We take the coke so that the Russians and the enchiladas have a fully go. And we make some money in the process by selling the stuff. Easy. Shit. You sound like you're saying all this just so it's clear on the wiretap. For the record, I don't know what this man is talking about. We're rehearsing a scene for an actor, clear. I work in waste management. Everything we're saying is fiction. It has no bearing in the real world. Watch it, Nico. Why we need this truck? There must be a shitload of coke we're taking. There should be a lot of sugar. But that ain't the only reason why we're taking this truck. Some of my boys stole it from the enchiladas this morning. It's the one the Russians are expecting to come pick up the seat. We should be able to turn up and have them loaded up for us. Then we drive away, no questions asked. I don't know if anyone will give away a load of coke without asking any questions. Even the Russian coke runners ain't that stupid. Yeah, sure, this is just plan A. It's the one Jimmy P worked at. You and me know it ain't gonna work, and that the only way we're gonna be able to leave that place with the sugar is if all the Russians in there are dead. So why don't we use a more subtle approach? Not just drive right into the middle of it. Because these is the orders, and we gotta follow them. That's the way things work. You ain't gonna be happy about everything you get told to do, are you? You're the boss. It ain't like I'm working for free. No, you ain't, and I ain't neither. 
That's why we got to at least try to do what we're told to do. You're going to learn that there ain't much in this life that you got control of. Whether you're putting yourself in harm's way because that's the way the skipper wants it done, or you're staying away from your kids because of a stupid court order and a malicious bitch of an ex-wife. There ain't that much control in anything. I've been around long enough to know that there are some things that we don't have a choice about. But there's other times where you got to look at something can make a decision for yourself. I can't follow every order I'm given. Yeah, well, maybe you're right. Maybe you ain't. I don't know. This is it. Keep a cool head and everything should be fine. Buddy, we're here to pick up the shipment. I don't speak English. Fuck off. Hey, amigo, let's make this easy. I just want to give the stuff to my boss and go home. I don't let anyone in here until I get the word. There's something wrong about you. Get out of the truck real slow. Need the hope. Looks like we're going to have to do this. Hold on to the car! 
You handled yourself real good back then. Kept your head. That's a valuable trait. Thank you. See you later. All right. 